Hey everyone, I installed the Evolution X ROM, a GSI ROM on my Xiaomi phone, and I personally found the results amazing. It has everything you'd expect from a stock ROM, plus some extra impressive features, clever spoofing tricks, the ability to run banking apps, bypassing play integrity, much higher FPS in games, and even unlimited Google Photos storage. Now, here's what makes this interesting. Even though it's a GSIROM, but you can easily install it in any of your phones, the process will be the same for all. Only some specific devices may have some changes. What will be the changes? We will discuss that later in the video. But before that, let's understand what GSI is. GSI Generic System Image represents an unmodified version of the Android open source project created by Google. It's engineered to function on any device supporting Project Treble, providing a standardized implementation of Android without manufacturer customizations or proprietary software layers. Now, let's get into the installation process. First things first, we need to enable USB debugging, but to do that, we'll need to unlock developer options on the phone. Head over to your phone settings and find the About Phone section. Once you're there, look for the build number and tap on it seven times in a row. After the seventh tap, you'll see a message pop up saying you're now a developer. Now go back to your main system settings. You'll notice developer options has appeared in the menu. Open that up. Inside developer options, check if your bootloader is unlocked. If it's not, don't worry. I've got detailed videos on my channel showing exactly how to unlock it. Once you've confirmed that, find USB debugging and turn it on. Okay, next step, open up the Treble Info app. I'll leave the download link in the description so you can install it easily. Once the app is open, tap on the details button in the navigation bar. If it says Project Treble supported, perfect. That means your phone is compatible and you're all set to install the GSIROM. If it says not supported, you can double check using the image I've attached in the description. After you've confirmed compatibility, tap on the images button in the navigation bar, then click on browse images. This is going to open up a GitHub repository page with a huge collection of GSI ROMs. You'll find options for Android 16, 15, and 14, but since we're specifically installing Evolution X today, that's what we'll be downloading. We'll be downloading. Click the download button and it'll take you to another page. There, select the gap section, then find and open the GSI section. Download the latest version of Evolution X from the list. So, I have downloaded GSI. Now let's install it. Shut down your phone, then press and hold power and volume down to enter fast boot mode. Once it's in that state, we'll pick things up on the laptop. Open whatever browser you prefer on your computer and search for platform tools and click on the first website that comes up and download it completely by following the same steps as me. Now, next search your device's firmware. For me, that's the POCOF4. In the search results, go to the official website and find your region-specific Fastboot firmware. This part's important because the VB Metafile only comes in the Fastboot firmware package. Download the whole thing. I've actually already downloaded mine earlier, so I'm just going to cancel this download for the video. Once both files have downloaded, we need to extract them. Start by extracting your phone's firmware file. When that's done, open the folder and go to the images directory. You're going to see a bunch of image files in there, but we only need one. The VB meta image file. Copy that file and put it somewhere easy to find on your computer. Next, extract the GSIROM file you downloaded
After this is complete, you will have to extract the platform tools file as well, then open the platform tools folder, search in the talk bar, CMD. By doing this, your command prompt window will open. After the command prompt opens, we're ready to start flashing. Connect your phone to your computer with a USB cable and type this command, fastboot devices. If you see the serial numbers, you're connected properly. Now, reboot it into fastboot D mode with this command, fastboot reboot fastboot. Quick note though, not all phones support fastboot D mode. If your phone just restarts normally after this command, that's fine. Just continue using regular fastboot mode instead. Now, type this command, fastboot flash system, and then drag and drop that Evolution X ROM file you extracted straight into the command prompt window. Hit enter. Your installation will start. It may take some time, so please be patient and let it complete the installation. After the installation is complete, we need to boot back into regular fast boot mode. Use this command, fast boot reboot bootloader. We're doing this because we still need to flash that VB meta file. Once your phone's back in normal fast boot mode, now, flash the VB meta file with this command, fastboot flash VB meta, then drag and drop the VB meta dot image file into the command prompt and hit enter. If that flashed successfully, now we just need to wipe the user data. So run this command fast boot erase user data and press enter after that's done. Boot your phone back into the system, fast boot reboot, and that's it. Your phone should now boot up successfully with Evolution X installed and ready to go. If this video helped you out, hit that like button and make sure you're subscribed to the channel for more tutorials like this. Thanks for watching. Links to all the necessary files and tools are provided in the description.